everybody how you doing um Pierre and i are sitting around you know a nice nice sunday evening talking about you know all the all the cool stuff out there and gear and guitars and all that and uh we kind of got into this topic about how how for all the information that's out there you know there's a lot of stuff that gets mixed missed um so you know we're trying you know there's always guys that are going to you know, have great guitar pedal videos and great guitar videos and things like that. Um, but there's things in between that people, you know, seem to never talk about that I kind of want to touch base with to give you guys something that's different and unique and, you know, maybe, maybe make you a little more empowered, especially when you're going to the store, when you're trying to make decisions. And so we decided we're going to show you a couple of things and what better place to start than one of my newest acquisitions. You guys, on the internet, all over the place, you're always asking, you know, what's the greatest deal? What's coming up? You know, like what's the sleeper guitar on the market? And so I figured this would be a perfect opportunity, one, to show you. And so this right here um, is just like an, it's a real common guitar that seems to be completely unheard of. But this is the EC256 from uh, ESP LTD. Um, this came with the case right here as is. Uh, it was $250 plus tax. Um, and this is their lemon drop model. They have a couple of different types, but, uh, you know, people talk a lot. There's always a lot of questions about, you know, why would you upgrade a cheap guitar and not just buy a nice guitar? Not that you'll get your money back, but as a collector, if you're looking for a player, this right here is something that's, you know, no one really ever pays attention to them. They're all over the place for dirt. Uh, and I don't know why other than there's just so many other options that people forget about it. Um, but while I'm going through and I'm making these upgrades and changes, we're going to go through why I'm going to put pickups or which pickups I'm going to put in here. It's not just because some guy cool plays them or I put them in another guitar. So they're going to sound great in this guitar, but you know, they're different types of guitars. So that's not always the case and that's not always going to work. Um, this guitar does need a fret level. I will go through and, and just polish and level them up a little bit and we'll go over the reasons why uh, and why your $3,000 guitar still needs a fret level and why your $100 guitar still needs a fret level. Um, it's not that there's anything wrong, it's just a part of how they build guitars. I picked this guitar specifically because the 400 series has EMGs, the 400 series has 24 frets. Instead this has 22 frets uh, and that is a big deal that people tend to not talk about. But the difference between this guitar and why this is a really nice guitar to get your hands on versus a, you know, a, a guitar that would be about the same price that actually would be a piece of junk that you wouldn't want to put money into because it would be polishing a turd is this right here. Keep in mind, this is brand new. This is like a $430 guitar. Um, but with this price point, this is actually a set neck mahogany on mahogany guitar. And this is all... You know, it's one thickness. And when you look at this as well, right in here, you see where this bevel is. A lot of times when they make the less expensive guitars, even up to like five, 600 bucks, they'll put a really nice piece of mahogany over the back, like a veneer. So it looks really pretty. And then when they do this bevel, you see all the crap and you know, the eight pieces of wood they made it out of and everything like that. But this is actually a three piece body with a set neck that's mahogany through and through with just the maple veneer for style. Uh, and essentially right here you have, you know, you have, it's an Indonesian version of it or model. They do make these in different places, but you have what would essentially be a Les Paul Jr. special, you know, mahogany on mahogany, 24 and three quarters um, with two pickups instead of one. So this is a guitar that I can actually take since most of my stuff is Fender and most of my stuff is like Strats, Tellys, or you know more rocked out fender style guitars to have a gibson type sound or style in my arsenal and to be into it for you know 300 400 when i'm done with it instead of going and buying a you know thousand dollar gibson les paul uh, on the cheap end you know this is something that you know i can get a lot of bang for my buck and have as a player that's going to be worth it and so we'll go through all this in the next couple weeks and talk about why why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know, and kind of show you what you're looking at so that when you're looking for a new guitar or you're looking for 
changing something out your guitar, you know what you're looking for so you can, you know, pick what fits your style and the guitar itself the best. So um, stay with me in the next couple of weeks and we'll get this uh, channel started and rolling with, uh, with a couple of videos and a couple of upgrades and we'll see where it takes us. So until next time, subscribe to Greatness.